partió con una idea para variar de, de Mariana Santos, la que nos está grabando en este minuto, que es una fuerza de la naturaleza, como ya saben, en el Diario de la Nación de Costa Rica. Y eh, haciendo brainstorming con ella apareció esta idea de, de, de ponerle el nombre de Chicas Poderosas por una muy buena forma de, de honrar a las mujeres eh, inteligentes y brillantes que hay en Latinoamérica que pueden sumarse al mundo de la tecnología y los medios para tener un, un mayor impacto en la calidad del trabajo que hacemos a nivel periodístico. Y bueno, se lanzó como un pequeño test en Chile con Hacks Hackers en Chile y fue fantástico. Pasamos de tener 50 miembros mujeres en Hacks Hackers a tener 120 en un par de días. Y la primera actividad estuvo alucinante y ahora estamos acá en Costa Rica eh, por primera vez muy contento de participar en el mega evento de Chicas Poderosas gracias a, a la ayuda de la Nación. I'm delighted to be here with ICFJ Night Fellow Mariana Santos, who is leading an extraordinary new initiative called Chicas Poderosas here in Costa Rica. We are very appreciative for the support that we've gotten from La Nación and especially from the leader of the investigative team, Giannina Sanini. She has been uh, really, truly supporting of this great initiative. And the, the enthusiasm that we have seen from women here and men who also want to participate in Chicas Poderosas has been truly amazing. And uh, their, their excitement and the work that they are doing with technology already is, is astounding and shows that innovation and the use of technology is the future for Costa Rica, for the region, and for journalism around the world. Hello, my name is Janina Sinini. I work here at the Investigative Unit in La Nación, and I had the honor to work uh, as a team with Mariana Santos, uh, our Knight Fellow, and, and the great visit from Nicola and, and Irene, and of course, Elisa from ICFJ. They supported us in all this process, and uh, we basically had a great, great, great team. Combination of, of not only knowledge, but this uh, team spirit and, and, and people really wanting to share was the best thing. Uh, it was the first time we had something like this in Costa Rica and, and I'm so honored to have learned from, from Mariana and from all the girls. To organize Chicas Poderosas was not only a great honor as it was a great success at the end with all the help from La Nación and my host Janina we were able to get together uh, more than 80 girls and boys to co-work in an environment where the process is all about team spirit working with data, with journalists, with developers and designers, trying to get, at the end, a story which the users could read, understand and uh, interact with.